The table shows the weekly receipts in millions of dollars for a movie for successive Fridays after its opening. We're asked to estimate the instantaneous rate of change of daily receipts nine weeks after the opening. So we're trying to find how fast the revenue is changing at exactly nine weeks. To do this, we're actually going to average the average rates of change from three to six weeks and then from nine to 12 weeks. So again, we'll first determine the average rate of change of daily receipts from week six to week nine using these two rows in the table. And then we'll find the average rate of change of receipts from week nine to week 12 using these two rows in the table. And then we'll average these two average rates of change to approximate the instantaneous rate of change at exactly nine weeks. So let's go ahead and list out the ordered pairs. We'll first find the average rate of change using the ordered pairs six comma 31.28 and nine comma 16.24. And then we'll find the average rate of change using the ordered pairs 9 comma 16.24 and 12 comma 6.526. Notice how we're finding the average rates of change to the left of nine weeks and the right of nine weeks. And then again, to estimate the instantaneous rate of change of daily receipts at nine weeks, we'll average these two average rates of change. And the average rates of change are equal to the slope of the secant lines passing through the two points given by the ordered pairs, where in this case, the average rate of change or slope is gonna be equal to the change in the receipts divided by the change in the weeks. Let's label the first set of ordered pairs W sub one, R sub one, W sub two, and R sub two. For the second set of ordered pairs, again, we'll have W sub one, R sub one, W sub two, and R sub two. So let's begin by determining the average rate of change of daily receipts per week from six weeks to nine weeks. Let's call that M sub one. It's equal to R sub two minus R sub one, or 16.24 minus 31.28, divided by the change in W which is W sub two minus W sub one, or nine minus six. Simplifying, we have M sub one is equal to negative 15.04 divided by three, which is approximately negative 5.0133. And now we'll find M sub two, which is the average rate of change from nine weeks to 12 weeks. Again, we have the change of R divided by the change in W, which is 6.526 minus 16.24 divided by 12 minus nine. Simplifying, we have M sub two is equal to negative 3.238. And now let's talk about what these actually represent. These are the slopes of the secant lines passing through the given points, but it also represents the average rate of change of the receipts per week over the given time interval. So the negative 5.0133 indicates negative 5.0133 million dollars per week is the average rate of change of the daily receipts per week from week six to week nine. And the slope of negative 3.238 represents negative 3.238 million dollars per week or the average rate of change of the daily receipts per week from week nine to week 12. The negative indicates the daily receipts are decreasing. And now to estimate the instantaneous rate of change at exactly nine weeks, we will average these two average rates of change. And this would be the slope of the tangent line at W equals nine weeks. So let's label this M sub T for the slope of the tangent line at W equals nine, which will be approximately equal to the average of these two rates of change, which would be negative 5.0. 0.133 plus negative 3.238 divided by two. And we're told to round to four decimal places. So now we'll go to the calculator.
we'll round to negative 4.1257. And with units, we have negative $4.1257 million per week. So this is our estimate for the instantaneous rate of change of daily receipts at exactly nine weeks, indicating at exactly nine weeks, the revenue is decreasing at approximately $4.1257 million per week. I hope you found this helpful.